In this video, we visit Tuna Harbor Park, which is a small but interesting park located in downtown San Diego. The park is located right next to the USS Midway Museum and encompasses the green area on this map. If you are in the area, just look for this big Tuna Harbor sign. As we mentioned, the park is right next to the USS Midway, and while there's a few kiosks set up for souvenirs and food, and there's also tables to sit at and enjoy the ocean view, what makes the park really interesting are the monuments that it has there. The first thing we'll take a look at is the park's Greatest Generation Walk, which is a series of monuments remembering World War II. We're taking the walk from north to south, and fittingly, the first monument we come across is in remembrance of Pearl Harbor and this plaque is on the other side of the Pearl Harbor Monument. Next up, and only a few feet from the Pearl Harbor Memorial, was the United States Aircraft Carrier Memorial. The memorial consists of an obelisk with two bronze sculptures next to it. The obelisk also lists the name of every United States aircraft carrier up to the USS Ronald Reagan. Despite the Pearl Harbor Memorial coming up first, beyond that they aren't in any sort of order, as next was the Homecoming Memorial, celebrating the troops' return home at the end of World War II. By far the biggest and most impressive monument on the Greatest Generations Walk was the USS San Diego Monument. The USS San Diego was the second most decorated American naval ship in World War II and never lost a single man to enemy action. The USS Enterprise was the only ship that was more decorated than the USS San Diego, having won 20 battle stars to the USS San Diego's 18. These two walls list the names of everyone who served on the ship. The opposite wall features a statue and a message that honors every American sailor that served during World War II. And the ground in front of the monument has a giant map showing the complete path of the USS San Diego during World War II. The outside wall has this really cool engraving of the ship, and the monument itself is designed to look like a ship when you view it from the road, which we almost missed, but luckily we walked around it and noticed it. And that was actually the last monument in the Greatest Generations walk. But while this is the Tuna Harbor Park, there was also this small sign honoring the Tuna Fleet service during World War II. I was a little surprised with it being Tuna Harbor Park, there wasn't more to honor the tuna fishermen, though across the bay at Shelter Island there is a tuna men's memorial which is pictured here. The harbor is still active in commercial fishing, and this is also a great place to get a view of San Diego's famous Coronado Bridge. We also saw a ton of sea lions in the harbor, unfortunately they were camera shy and we weren't able to get a shot of them. Now we'll head over to the western part of the park which is where the park's most famous statue was located. While not part of the Greatest Generations Walk, this area of the park does have a few monuments to take a look at as well, such as this memorial to Admiral Clifton Sprague. This area also has a lawn, a nice pathway right up against the harbor, a lot more trees, a restaurant, and of course, that statue. First, I'm gonna call this statue Unconditional Surrender, I've always known it as Unconditional Surrender. Everywhere I look online lists it as Unconditional Surrender. However, the sign in front of it calls the statue Embracing Peace. It was sculpted by Seward Johnson and was originally placed here in 2007, though the original statue had a foam interior and wasn't meant to be permanent. Despite the San Diego Union Tribune's art critic trashing it, it became very popular and a permanent version of the statue was placed here in 2013. Unconditional Surrender is a really popular photo spot, but it's actually not unique. There are copies of this statue all over the world. There's one in Key West, Florida, there's one in Belgium, there's one in Rome, and it's been displayed elsewhere as well. 
Next to unconditional surrender is a national salute to Bob Hope in the military. Between 1941 and 1991, Bob Hope did 57 USO tours to entertain American troops. In fact, in 1997, Congress made him an honorary veteran. And that's it for the monuments, but the park also has the fish market where you can buy fresh fish or eat at their restaurant if restaurants are open. And has great views of the midway where you might even see some mannequins keeping watch. And of course, with the park being right on San Diego Bay, it's a great place to catch a sunset. Whether you live in San Diego or you're just visiting, Tuna Harbor Park is a pretty cool place to spend a couple hours checking out the monuments and just walking around. We should mention the parking lot is metered. It does cost $2.50 an hour to park there, but you probably won't need more than an hour to walk around the whole park. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up, consider subscribing, and we'll see you next week.